the presenter mode. Okay, let me try to share again. Okay, so we tomorrow we will start at one. one. Yeah. yeah, let's one. wait two more minutes. We start at one o five then. Okay. Sorry, everyone, and. Uh, uh, meanwhile, can we ask if this is um, probably we could survey uh, everyone if this is a good timing for the events. We find that this way it doesn't disrupt as much work. You can be still grabbing a bite or, or have an early lunch and then join this before you start the afternoon work. Yeah, So can we have a quick feedback from you guys if this is fine, either by writing on the on the chat? Chat, sure, yeah. Or uh, by you know turning on the mic and say if you guys are okay with this or you have any other suggestion. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you see, uh, think this uh, good time to do the what the session, you can just let me know. Or maybe you can advise another time is for yeah. for the one is more better in terms of the timeline. Yeah. I think I think Gary has raised the hand, so if you want okay. to, maybe you want to ask something like that. Let me check. Yeah, so Gary, you want to speak? Yeah, you can no, no, I just uh, just say that the timing is fine for me. Okay. Oh, I think it's That's good. Great. I think it's good. That is great. Right. Thank you. It's good feedback. We we actually, you know, we want to try to, obviously we cannot please everyone, but we want to try to find a, you know, a good timing that could please as much as possible. Thank you. Okay, so Asraf, I think we can go ahead with the session. Okay. Uh, sure. So, yeah. Okay. Let Let's start. Uh, before that, uh, hi guys. Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. Um. Uh, before that, I want to introduce myself. Uh, myself first. Um. Uh, my name is Asha Riza. If for the one people not know me yet, so I am a business development and also BIM implementation of Graphisoft, uh, focusing on uh, Malaysia market. So today, uh, what I'm gonna talk, uh, we give sharing session is about the rendering using Cine Render Engine in Graphics of Archicad. So this is our, our second session. Let me check. Okay. So, so uh, this session will take about uh, 30 minutes uh, on the uh, slides and also the demo of the uh, Cine Render demo. After that, we will go to the Q and A session. Uh, it's okay for interrupting when I do the session, or if you have any question, you just directly uh, 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 do in chat, or you can even can raise your hand. So, uh, if you have any question, just ask in the session. Session is okay. Okay, I think we we will start before we go to the you know continue with the demo i think it's better to highlight about the rendering engine background that we gonna use for the demo later right so i uh, basically uh, for high quality photorealistic rendering user of beam application have plenty plenty of online and offline option readily available today right uh, however in akikat uh, Akikat uniquely offer high-end professional photo rendering inside the Beam application that will providing architect with an interrupted visualization workflow. It's directly uh, embedded in Archi uh, inside Akikat for the first time when you install Akikat. So you start from since uh, Akikat 18. This pre-built rendering engine is embedded uh, directly inside Akikat. It will content with their rendering attributes uh, such as surfaces, lights, uh, to the standalone C4D solution where you can get or create a very good uh, rendering quality. So uh, this pre-built rendering engine is developed by Madsen uh, that also have a Cinema 4D if you know the Cinema 4D is a visualization, soft, uh, visualization software. Uh, just for your information, Maxon is the subsidiary company under Namcheck Group, our parent company, Namcheck Group. 
So uh, uh, after the uh, you know the 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 merging, uh, they they have some uh, things that they sharing each other. One of them is this uh, rendering engine. Uh, directly they have uh, inside Archicad, so it's a pre-built one. So uh, this pre-built engine also um, they have a new set of high-end surface material. Let's say in the first time when you install it, you, can, you even can have a pre-built surfaces like about 300 plus surfaces available inside. And they have also plus 500 plus surface, surfaces and that can be assessed from the beamcomponent.com. But of course, this is uh, mainly uh, for the SSA user, it means the one that register for the SSA will get uh, this uh, access uh, freely. They can just go to the website and then under partner uh, what called website, then they can download more uh, surfaces directly from the 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 surface to Archicad. But they have also uh, you can also um, you know uh, download from the internet. They have thousand more surfaces that are available in the internet that under C four D format that you can export to Archicad to use it in your Archicad. So uh, this Archicad is is uh, provide the enhanced and more realistic rendering capabilities. So this practically means that architect can create a state of art, professionally uh, rendered visualization of their project without the necessity to buy, install, or learn any additional software application because this is embedded directly in Archicad already. Right? For 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 the one who install Archicad, automatically you can get this same render engine inside. So and also they have a pre uh you know, it's just like one, one click high quality photo rendering uh, with the certain uh, what you call a preset that you can use it uh, instantly. So uh, before that I want to show also what this render engine can do. You can even play around with the illuminion, you know, the, ref the reflection, the texture of the face. Uh, surface and the bump of the surface and many more. Later I will show you how, how it looks like. So this this is one of the example when you do the your rendering uh, directly from the scene render in Archicad you can get this kind of quality of your rendering. Even your shadow what you can imagine uh, this is like um, DSLR camera with the preset setting right that you can control based on the environment. So uh, this uh, camera, they have some uh, setting, right? You can check, set for the, let's say, for the in, uh, indoor or outdoor, they have a preset. So uh, similar with here, in this scene render, you can create your own uh, visualization based on the preset that they have inside Archicad. So you no need to do much uh, in terms of the setting, but you can do if you need. So the basic intermediate and professional engine setting option in render uh, can even architect with no rendering skill are able to create professional uh, presentation without installing uh, or learning additional software. So uh, i show you this is an example of the scene render. I just do some uh, snap from Archicad. So they have some scene pre that I will show you later. They have uh, uh, it's like a uh, what called preset that you can just choose based on the visualization that you want to do or you want to have. You can even play around not only for the setting but also in terms of the quality. Sometimes uh, you know you want to do some uh, fast rendering, right? you can play around with it here or you want to play around the the light thing there. They have a light source there. You also can. Uh, it's like a button on and off, or you can set the percentage of the light. Later, we go through about the the what called the detail of the software. So, so the idea is sometimes uh, we don't need to have much time, spend much time to to setting up the thing because they have a pre built there for you. But and it's quite nice. I will show you the example uh, later. This is some of the example. This rendering is directly from Archicad using Cine Render. You can even see the you know the reflection, the bump of uh, of your wood surface 
in your you know in your um, uh, element even you can see the perforated uh, what you call uh, surface here right it's very realistic and it's, it's very good for visualization this is another example you can see the reflection between from the water here it will reflected also uh, for, from your mother this uh, rendering is directly by using scene render only this is another example so um, the goal is we can uh, only using ArchiCAD we can even create a, some photorealistic uh, it's good photorealistic uh, inside ArchiCAD uh, as, as we know that sometimes when we hire you know if you want to create some perspective view of the project right it will take some some quiet um, pricely in term of the rendering depend on the angle in here you can do by yourself uh, directly inside ArchiCAD so I will start the live demo so I hope that uh, you are excited to know possibilities that we can quick gain the knowledge to create your own stunning render images of your project so I will open my ArchiCAD before that can I test did any one can see the ArchiCAD project here yes okay okay so this is the example project that I will use to try to set up a certain view from here uh, this project is actually is a two-story building with the annotation that we already set reboot here using uh, object that we have in ArchiCAD already okay so uh, we have even already create some object like the chair table here so we will use this as a reference for the perspective when we do a rendering um, before that I want to show how to activate the scene render in ArchiCAD so you can just go to document creative imaging and click this photo rendering setting so after uh, you can see a uh, pop-up of the photo rendering setting here so the engine that of course the default one previously they have a basic render sketch scene render right so depend on your need so I will use the scene render uh, by Madsen as an engine for rendering so you can uh, see from here uh, under here they have some uh, setting that you can play around with that right even if you have a physical sky or HDRI sky you can play around with here what I'm gonna highlight is under scenes here they have a, a list of uh, setting of the scenes that is a pre big in ArchiCAD so uh, I just uh, repeat again under scenes if you click this select and manage scenes so you can see a lot of pre built setting that let's say now I want to do some uh, under photorealistic scene I just click uh, indoor daylight let's say or indoor HDRI and uh, maybe I just use fast uh, HDRI and when I click OK automatically the, the what you call the system will be uh, set up the correct setting for you with uh, just just choose the things only so you not you will you, you no need to do much but of course uh, depend on the quality that you want you can adjust the setting even later so let's say we try to do something right uh, let's say we move inside the model here I try to choose some angle here okay let's say I, I this angle okay something like that okay then uh, they have a button also you, you see here the photo rendering projection if you click this one instantly it will render all the view here but what I'm gonna do now I don't want to full render yet because I want to check certain uh, surfaces is already correct or not in term of the view right so what I can do I can just click this marquee and do some uh, let's say I want to mark it somewhere around uh, here okay let's see all right okay what if we do is it will render this surface only 
So the idea is we want before we, we do the full rendering because sometimes it will t- take some time to do the full rendering. Right? You want to make sure everything is good first. So you can do marquee from here. So let's say I just click this one, marquee here. So now uh, Archicad we do the rendering in the background. So the good thing about Archicad also when the you know the background do the rendering. You even can access to your floor plan or your 3D model when we wait for the rendering part. Let's say now uh, it's, it's still you know uh, going on right. You see it's, it's still continues. So still you can go to the uh, first floor. Let's say here, view your you know your model from from Archicad. Zoom in, chat. At the same time, in the background, they do the render here. You see, even you can go to to three D to choose more places to what you want to to set as a camera for your rendering, right? You still can move, but in the background, they do the rendering. Let's say now I just click this one, so you can see now they do the render already, right? But I feel like the view is quite uh, dark, so. Even uh, after the preset of HDRI 5, you even can play around with the setting. Let's say now I just activate this detailed setting, right? Uh, normally, for the you want to make it the aluminium more higher, then you can go to the global aluminium here. So under let's say primary method, I can maybe increase some here to maybe 300 the intensity. And maybe under secondary method, I want to increase to 500. Let's say, all right. Okay, after that, I just click this one again. Then you can uh, check your model here. To do some rendering based on what you need. At the same time, like I say, you can go back to your 3D view to see you know, if you want to move inside or outside of your element or building. Let's say now I maybe I want to go outside now, right? Go to somewhere around here. And maybe I just choose this angle for the rendering. The second angle here. Uh, Maybe I want to do some trick. I want to check uh, the lighting is okay or not, right? Or maybe I want to choose another scene. Also, I can just directly go here and select another scene. Right? I want to use outside now, outside outdoor scene. Uh, and I'll fill it. Uh, maybe I just choose the medium one. Maybe this this uh, medium, right? And click OK. Okay. You can see automatically the the setting will be followed based on the outdoor daylight medium. At the same time, I want to go back to the picture to see. So you can see now uh, the, the what you call the images is turned already, right? But of, co of course, this is based on the uh, setting that we not preset or play around yet. So maybe I can just go to here. And then what I'm going to do is, I okay. So I want to make sure that the angle is okay. Maybe I want to check the the surfaces is good or not. So I just click marquee and do some check here. Okay. Then I just move and maybe under here I want to do some tweak. So I want to choose the HDRI sky. I want to make sure the, the sky is un, uh, using HDRI. So before that, I need to go to here and put the HDRI uh, images under library. So of course, in Archicad, they have a pre uh HDRI image images that uh, that is inside Archicad already. But you also can uh, up, uh, download or upload from from your site if you have a good HDRI angle and you can insert to the library here and use it on your background. Let's say now after I insert the HDRI sky, I can click this browse and 
you can see automatically they have a HDRI scan. Maybe I just this high resolution. Uh, you can see from here. Maybe I want to use something like this one, the overcast. Then even you can play around with your sky rotation means your you know your your uh, sun or what. So maybe I just set this as a maybe uh, 60 degrees. And then after that I want to do this rendering only as a in the marking uh, marking place. So I just click this. It will AkiCAD will automatically crop the specific place on it. So let's check. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Of course, based on your uh, setting here, if you click the quality under here, it will pop up with the low, medium, high, final, right? So depend on your 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 choosing either the low, medium, high, or final. More detail means more. It will take more time for you to do render. So if you let's say now I do medium right, it will take. You can see now it's about how long it will take. It's about for the that marquee area. It take about forty four seconds to get this view right. So if you choose high or final, of course the de the quality will be more uh, better, but it will take some time to do the re rendering. Uh, for your information now, I just use my laptop. So I think. Uh, in terms of the visualization, it's okay, but I want to open the light. Let's see, right under here, light. I just activate this light. I I just set. You can just move like this, or you can set the the percentage of the light. Let's say for hundred. Okay, I just set up for the hundred. Then, uh, I go back to the three D. The same place. What I'm gonna do is. You can see under uh, dot here, right? Actually, this is the downlight. This downlight uh, is a pre bit in AkiCAD also. Let's say I just click one of the downlight here. So you can see uh, in AkiCAD, they have a very good GDL object that you even, it's not only the object, but you even can set your intensity of your light from, from inside the object itself. Or you can, Choose uh you know absolute light intensity or you want to you want you don't want to highlight that or you want to set the light distance uh, manually. It's a, let's say now it's a two meter right. So you can play around with the object that is a pre big in ticket only. So let's say now I have this this setting I I just use the pre big one. I just uh you know activate this light right. Then what I'm gonna do is I we marking again here, something like that. Marking here, and I try to do the render. Okay, so let's see how long it will take. Okay, just need to wait for a while. Uh, when we before we we're waiting for the rendering, I just want to uh, highlight to you that in here. Uh, you can set also the the sizing, uh, how much the in term of the rendering view you want to set. So you can go to the to the sizing here and even choose either you want to make by uh, you know the preset uh, sizing that they have here, or you can just click this size to 3D window. It will take all the window uh, rendering based on the view that you see now. But I'm gonna do that. I just use the default one. In here also under detail here, if you tick this detail, you even can play around with a lot of setting here. Let's see now, uh, this setting actually is exactly like in the C Cinema 4D uh, setting. If you're familiar with the Cinema 4D, you can play around with that. But if you don't want to you know, spend much time with that, you can just use the scene preset rendering in, uh, setting that they have here. It's a pre built already so you can just choose the things uh, based on what you need easily so no need to spend much time from here right but of course if you need you can play around with the setting like let's say like the you want to make the shadow is more depth or what deep or what then you can play around in here 
but I, I don't want to touch that. So you can see now, okay, the rendering I think should be okay, you know, um, but uh, maybe I want to change the glass of my uh, railing to another, uh, what I call, uh, material, let's see now. What I can do that, before that, under option, uh, element attribute and surfaces, like I uh, I just highlight before, right? They have uh, in a, inside Archicad also. They have already um what you call the lot of uh preboot uh surfaces that they have already. But now you can see the some of the surfaces I already put inside the Archicad uh before. But the preset one is already there. Let's say now even you can if you want to add more glass surfaces, right? You can just click this new under new catalog and I just choose glass you know, I just find glass yeah so you can see the list of the glass here already inside Archicad uh, before that maybe I want to add the uh, library manager uh, I just need to put under surface catalog sorry so this is pretty big you before the, if uh, normally you will automatically set Archicad or if you don't have that you need to set under library here okay just click ok when i go to element attribute surfaces and i just change this to cine render by myself you can see the reflection here so the idea is this surfaces will be uh, the the view will be exactly same like this one so let's say I just go back to the new catalog. Let's say I want to put another uh, surface right here. I just find glass. You can see that they have a lot of type of glass here. Maybe uh, this glass, so the lime green, you see, right? I just click OK. So now I already have glass, so the lime green in, in the list of surfaces that I have. Then I just click OK. Then I maybe I just click this glass. Then from here I just go to the setting and go to maybe the what call the material that we're gonna use. Um, for that because this is a compact profile, so uh, this compact profile already using um railing new you can see here so this railing new here actually using uh, this uh, building material as a surface for the railing so uh, under here glass you can see now glass is uh, using glass clear fast now right i can just go to here change to so the lime green 24 then i click ok so it's supposed to be changed here then i can to marking marky here to check either the the what you call the view is correct or not just click this crop marky okay let's check Okay, we can see now the rendering. Of course, maybe we can check how long it will take for the that part, right? Is it uh, achieve our goal or not? Uh, before that, also, uh, you can see that they have a black uh, screen here, right? You can do your viewing from here, also. It will be. It's like a teaser of the overall of your view. You can just click refresh here. Or you can do, uh, you know, uh, check your viewing from here also to check the face uh, or the the general uh, what kind of rendering is okay or not before you do the full rendering. So it will, it will uh, automatically not activate like the shadow, the lighting inside here. It's just like a preview of your rendering only. So now, okay, I can see now. Uh, okay, I think my view already good enough, but I can see some problem here. You can see because now uh, in Archicad, 
we have we already use this 2D annotation of the tree, right? Sometimes it can come up with this problem, you see? So how to fix that? So what we're gonna do is we can go under uh sorry under maybe uh um HDRI. So under detail setting um maybe under this physical this physical so just tick this physical then uh i try to do back again to check maybe want to make it the marquee more smaller because i want to check this place only right then i can do the marquee to check is it fix the problem or not At the same time, you can see, uh, you know, you can even play around setting the light adjustment, the shadow. If you familiar with this, uh, from my view, I see it's quite uh, similar with, uh, you know, the V-ray setting. If you familiar with that. Okay, so you can see now uh, the you know the the dark view from uh, background of the annotation is miss is is gone already, right? So okay, I think it's, it's okay already. Now what I'm gonna do is I will do the full render, so we can see from here how 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 long it will take to do the full render. So let's say now I back to here, maybe back to you here. You can also show the preview uh, as well. It's yeah, maybe um, I can click this preview yeah. Yeah. to check, uh, final check before we do the full render. Even though it takes a while, if you have any question, you can just ask. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Even though it takes a while, it takes lesser than doing a render. Yeah, but you can but also see it doesn't, um, how should I say? It doesn't give a lot of detail because the window is not so big. Another thing yeah. I like to do personally is to correct the perspective. So if you right click and put a two point perspective. Mm. OK, let's see now. Uh, choose. Uh, uh, the There is a button you can do that. Uh, bottom, bottom, the last, the, the three counting from below. Yeah, the third one counting. Yeah, that okay. one. Oh, yes. okay. That one correct automatically. It's like you go to Photoshop and correct. Yes. yes. I really like it. Mm. You can see now it's changed already to the two point perspective. So let's say now I try to refresh again to check overall view here. Okay. So. Yeah, I think with the HDRI, with the HDRI, the rendering will yeah. take a while. But if you use the normal one, it will be, will be very, very much faster. It's, it's okay, we can. Yeah, but still faster. Still fast. okay. I noticed that. Yeah, yeah but, but I yeah, think it's still fast. Still fast. Okay, you can see now, uh, I think, okay, I my view, I think it's, it's good enough already. So now I will do the full render. So what we're going to do is from here, I just, uh, of course, uh, you need to, uh, you know, uh, just just uh, escape and make sure it's not marky in your uh, in your architect. Then I will do the render now. Okay, let's see how long it takes. So the sizing of the view here is two times uh two thousand times one thousand five four hundred. And okay, let me check. Okay. Of course, it will take uh, some time, but I think it's more faster than normal render that you use. Let's say you play around with the V-Ray. Uh, and I think it's, it's not bad. It's very, uh, it's quite good in terms of the quality from my perspective. It's better than you just, you know, use your sketch view uh, in terms of the quality. Yeah, so while that is re rendering yeah. Asraf, we had a question from Afrin, quite interesting question. Asking, okay. um, 
if we input the latitude and longitude of a project on a project settings, if that will influence uh, the outcome of the rendering. So if you show on the um, rendering settings that uh, we can use the Archicad Sun position. Okay, sorry. So okay, when at the same time, we'll see using the HDRI, we, it, uh, the HDRI will cover the yeah. Archicad default Sun position. So we, we have to choose another rendering settings without the HDRI. But probably you can save mm. this rendering settings before uh, Asraf in case you need to go back to it. Yeah, under the okay. sky setup, the physical uh, gonna, physical uh, sky. Okay, the physical sky will take the yeah, the actual mm. physical uh, mm. uh, longitude yeah, and latitude. And here you, yeah, you can one. see uh, from here uh, under the location, you can even custom make your location. Let's say now I want to choose. Uh, let's say Kuala Lumpur. Where, where is Kuala Lumpur? Uh, where is it? Um, maybe the nearest part is Singapore. We can. Yeah, if it doesn't Singapore. have KL, you can still um, mm. go on the project settings and add the latitude and longitude. Yeah. So let's say even in here you can set up your location also. Uh, it's supposed to be under uh, wait not here. It's under view. Uh, here right. Uh, the option, sir. Option. Oh uh, sorry, option. Uh, okay. Work environment. Work project no, preferences. Project preferences. Yes, and uh, uh, no. no, no. I need to go to 2D first, right? Yeah. And then yeah. go yeah. back to option, project preferences, and the project location. You can see here. Yeah. Click, click that one. You, you see, even the good thing about Archicad, even you we, you play or tweak around with Archicad, the rendering is still in the background. They do still do the rendering. Okay, just wait for why, where, where is the pop up? Let me try to go again. Project location. Okay, now I have this. So you can input your latitude or longitude of your location in here. Or you can uh, let me click this one to choose the right place. Uh, yeah, and you uh, can also set the north there. Yeah, uh, yeah you can set the your your what you call the 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 north point of your place here or maybe i can find the uh, maybe kuala lumpur look at the exactly place right as long as we have the longitude and latitude then after we have that we can just insert to here uh, even you can set your north uh, project north the degree of your project north then uh, including the FTT of your C level, then you just click OK. It will uh, replicate exactly place the place that you set. But of course, this setting you must this use, use Archicad Sun position. Then it will activate based on that uh, setting that you created lah. But if you want to do that, you even can do manually from here. Like let's say like here now, right? You just can go to here. Even you can set maybe today. Uh, setting or if you have a specific uh, time and date also you can do that directly from here you okay, want so to let's see more? yeah okay let's see what happens to the full render okay, let's see we go back to the okay, you can see now the the the, the rendering now uh, if you remember uh, before this i used the medium uh, things so it will take about five minutes to get this view and for me it's, it's not bad you know of course, you can see some, some, some uh, it's based on your quality. If you choose a final, it will be more, more detailed in terms of the quality of your texture. Uh, now, if you using this one, the medium one, it will take about five minutes to, to re render this view, right? So uh, later, what you can do is you, you just go to, you can copy and go, let's say, I, I just create a new, Let's say um, maybe new, new um, 
layout here. Let's see that new layout. Maybe prospect this. And click OK. And I can just control V to copy here. Then directly can put your view to your title block or your, your layout directly. Or you even if you want to save to your your uh, computer, so just directly save as and save to your computer. Then later you can continue on another platform if you need, like say Photoshop or what, right? So um, before we I show another example, did you have any question? I think they've been Let's all answered in the chat. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, uh, I think uh, uh, Tuan Afrin did we ask answer your question? Uh, I think I, I we already answered. Yeah, I said okay. Ruth and also I think you. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. You can un do anti that level if you need. So another thing I want to show is let's say we now we we try to do the rendering inside of the building, right? Okay, now under photo rendering setting, I just click this things. Uh, uh, I just go to the in indoor and maybe I want to use um uh indoor HDRI let's say uh, maybe I, I choose the HDRI medium then I go back to the 3D what I'm gonna do is I fly through to inside of the building let's say again I maybe choose this corner because it's have a lot of material, different material that we can see the changes. And one thing I want to do is I want to open the light to make sure the lighting also is, is inside here already. Okay, then so I just click this photo and that. let's see how it looks like. Okay, go back. Maybe I, I will repeat again uh, for the long meter and editor. I think. Uh, you know, like uh, one of the client, uh, offering client request for you know, to the to have a correct longitude, longitude. You what you can do, you just go to option, then under project preferences, then you can go to project location, or you can go to the set project north to set your north location of your project. Okay? Right, but you can always do this in two D lah. Yeah, of course you need to open from two D view first. Go okay. to your floor plan, then go click there, and we will automatically uh, show up this project location, and you can put inside there. So okay, let's see. Before that, I want to go back to here. You can see now the they have a uh, lighting. Uh, you know, based on the setup that you set on your down light in Nike Cat, it will reflect uh, immediately based on the setting, and also it will take uh, five minutes to to create these images. This, this image you even uh, can you know after if you do want to use this you can just close this one lah. let's see all right mm. okay. maybe i can uh, do one more thing i, I want to open the what you call the uh, setting the task manager you can see the task manager now can you see the task manager now? Uh, sorry, hi, oh, Marcelo. Yes. So you can see now, if we uh, from this uh, scene scene render, if we take uh, it's uh, using uh, mostly your CPU when they do the rendering. Of okay, your... Asraf. Yeah. Asraf, somebody is asking, what is your spec of the PC, your laptop currently you are using? Okay, let let me open the spec. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's better not that, to. It's not that powerful. It's not that powerful. Yes, yes. What I'm gonna show you is this, this is the setting of my current laptop. I only just use laptop only. This is like Dell. Right? Dell. Yeah, it's a Dell, but they have a processor called i7 with 2.6 gigahertz. The you know the the the, the speed, and then they have a. I only just uh just use 16 gig of RAM, uh, and also I uh, using the Windows 10 Pro. Of course, this. This is the the OS of the the system Windows. But uh, another one is I want to show is the what called the graphic. Uh, I just use the normal uh, Nvidia 
not not too high but this this three bit Nvidia mobile for the laptop. Uh, wait, let me check. Yeah, and 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 Asaf also set using HDRI. That's why the if you use the the normal background, you'll be very fast. Yeah, later maybe you can show one example of the normal. I think. Uh, Asaf, maybe one of the thing is rendering. Uh, you want to show your slide, you know, those those that you have. Yes, rendered. yes. Uh, when when we waiting for the rendering, maybe I can go to my slide. Yeah. Uh, okay, we go to the slide more. This is the example. Uh, yes few example that that uh, when that uh, is rendered directly you did cine render so this is another no example you, you no photoshop you know? <laughs> so you even can play around with the grass based on the grass surfaces in archicad you can you can set the correct uh, color of your grass you know then also here you see the reflection from the water here you know to the face um I see this in another example, um, the picture of somebody here. <laughs> okay, this is the interior of the building. Uh, all the object is that are in pre from Archicad. I just put and you know, even if you have a um, object from another place like 3D warehouse or what, you can just input to here. Uh, this is another example after you say, save your object. And you can, uh, the view, then you can create your own um, what you call um, flyers or what? Right? Um, before that, I want to highlight about the two motion also. So um, this Akika, I just want to highlight that I we play one of the video here. Okay. If you familiar uh, or if you are the one that don't know about the two motion yet, actually this two motion, if you bought Akika, automatically we get this two motion free. And it will uh what I call um um valid until end of this year only. So uh the people that have Akikat full uh you know Akikat full version then they will get this two motion free. The normal I think the normal uh, price if with this promotion is about eight nine thousand per license right. But now you can get it free. Uh this two motion actually is a fami uh, similar with the cine render but. Uh, it will focus in more, it's like aluminum, you know, they have a pre big object inside there, you know, with the more realistic, uh, even you can create your own animation inside there, and the rendering also is a real-time rendering, means you don't need to wait much time, but of course, it depends on the quality also, sometimes, uh, if you set final quality, you get more, much more uh, better rendering inside this three motion. So uh, for this package, you can get, uh, you know, it's like a one price, you can get this through these two software immediately. This is the teaser from the three motion. So even can change your view from Archicad to the VR or AR augmented reality. Uh, later, if I, we have time, I, I will show a quick one, two minutes, how uh, we can transfer the view from Archicad to the motion directly with, with one click button only. Okay. Mm. So this is the example. You can see now the quality is quite good. You know. But of course this this uh cremation actually is uh uh you know uh belongs to Epic Games. So Epic Games now is uh, one of our uh partner in terms of the AEC NFT so they, they want to Give her. So this you can see here, the the one of uh, anyone that have a KitKat license with the SSA can automatically get this three motion free. So the peop the one that don't have uh, or didn't download the three motion yet, it can just go to this website or you can scan this uh, QR code to get the access. Just yeah. uh, make sure to uh, yeah. you know to register using your I graphics ID, log in. Then you can download the three motion. Yeah, is that yeah, you, you can get something? You can contact us also. So you can contact me, you know, in case you cannot yeah. get it for free. Yeah. Yeah. Just let me yeah. know so I can assist you online. Yeah. 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 Just uh, yeah. one one detail here. You need to have active SSA. So yeah. the uh, bottom part, yeah. Yeah, it will check. So as you can see the second step there, it will check if you have an active SSA to be able to get access to the to the twin motion license. Yes. Okay. So, uh, 
and make sure you get yeah. it before end of this yeah. year. Yeah, we yeah. go back to the <laughs> yeah this valid until this end of this year. So let's check how the quality is it. Uh, yeah, because if you use HDRI, I I I know the speed of HDRI will be longer lah. Yeah, okay, it, yeah. For even for any other software, also it's same. Mm. Yeah, the okay, compilation uh, method is a bit different. So yeah, yeah. Mm, this, this. So we can this see point. on the bottom of the screen that mm. is still calculating the DI, yeah. mm -hmm. which is the global illumination, and uh, the time that he has taken. So probably the rendering is like a twenty percent. And yeah. you have a few passages. The first one is to calculate where the shadow is and where the light is, mm. and then starts getting another one with more detail and another one with more detail. So it's like mm. a few um, few times that it, it processes the image. Okay, uh, when we, we we wait for this, I want to show the three motion. You see here. Actually, I already installed three motion to my laptop, no, and I have. Oh, sorry. Okay, now it's now it's appearing. The processing is okay, almost. Okay, you see, of course, it will take some time to do the you know calculation. But after it's finished, then we do the rendering. I think it's quite fast. Uh, the why is stopped there because we open another slide, you know, from PowerPoint or what. So that's okay. why sometimes it, it's like a break. Break. It, 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 it just break for a while, and then when we go back to the architect, then we do the render. Okay, so there's another question. See, Okay. okay. Can we adjust the grass at Archicad 23 and lower versions as well? 23, yes. Yes. Actually, uh, you can. Okay. Uh, this uh, cine render actually starting from Archicad 18, right? Until mm -hmm. uh, now. Uh. So, uh, is the basic stuff is still uh, same. Uh, let's say now I can just go to the how to you to, to setting up. Then you can just go to the element interview under surfaces here. Then it can see, let's see now I want to find grass, let's say this grass brown or grass green light. Like. And we wait for a while. So you can see here, here also we do the render, the preview render for preview. You can see so, the, the bump, the, the grass there, right? So it even can play around with the color, you know, the diffusion, the luminance from here. So this is the way you can setting your your grass. Yeah. Oh, so there is that yeah. box you see on the on that on the left side, the mm -hmm. one before left it says grass and he has a tick. Below, 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 the second last this, one. Okay, this one, this yeah. grass, right? Yeah. yeah. So this, if you don't tick that, it won't have the effect. Mm. So you can even use that, let's say, for a white surface, if you want to mm -hmm. make one of those fluffy carpets, for example. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, if you have some more, you want to make more uh, surface, also they have a catalog for the grass here, so you can just basically go here and just find the grass, let's see right. So you can see there are plenty of type of grass that you can use it and apply to your surface in your Archicad, see here. Even if you don't have that, you can automatically, the free one version, you can download directly, just click. Just click and click OK, we download the file of your 3D glass. Lah. Okay, let's go back to the 3D. You can see now the quality of the rendering using Cine Render is for me is very good. It's quite good. And of course, it's, for me, it's more faster than using the, you know, uh, if you're using the another platform like V-Ray platform, you know. And uh, you just tweak a little bit about the setting only to get this mm -hmm. level of. You have another question? If you have another question, you can just highlight here. Or you can just open your mix and just just say anything or even to ask anything. There was one question see. on the twin motion. Uh, if that is the latest version, I don't know. Probably we were asking about the video. Okay. But uh, the, the video one actually is the video is from uh, last year 2020, right? 2020, 2020 yeah, the end one. of 2020. Uh, they have a 2021 now, uh, okay. but it's not launched yet, lah. You know, it's a slight teaser of your video only. But uh, the this the current version of Twitch is 2020.2, the latest version. 
Tu ah protect Hmm. Okay, it's me. Let I uh, answer your question. <laughs> okay, uh, Faye. Alright. Okay. Another part when we waiting for the uh, rendering, right? You can see the the quality of the rendering, right? Here, uh, in here, I already installed my two emotion. I just click here. What I'm gonna do is I just open my 3D view. Let's say this one, right? Click this two emotion. And under here, make sure you install your motion first. So I just click this direct link or I can just uh, using my palette here. You see this palette? Just click this synchronize with motion 2020. And after I click that, automatically it will be linked to the motion. You can see now, uh, is, can, can you see the motion 2020.1.2 now? Uh, Zai or Marcelo? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay, this is a quick one. I want to show you how you can link directly from to motion to uh, from architect to motion in real time, and you can do the things more better later. Uh, you know, later. Okay. And the laptop is still rendering. Yes. At the same time, if you remember, the and, laptop is still and you only have background. and you only have sixteen gig RAM. If you have With thirty two or sixty four, then it will. I think it will fly. Yeah. Okay, now I maybe uh, create a new project and click OK. Then synchronization from Archicad directly to Twinmotion. Okay. Okay. Same time, I go back to here, check my rendering. Wow, okay, now it's almost finished. You know? Okay, go back to the here, check. The processing geometry. Okay. Maybe I can just stop. Okay, I just stop. I think you know the quality of the rendering. So you can see the the uh, illumination from the outside to the inside. You still open up of your uh, light there. Okay, now I go to the same place already. You see view from Archicad. To the two motion, you can see the two motion now. Okay, if I move out, maybe I just delete this one. You can see exactly the same place that the model in Archicad inside two motion here. And the rendering is quite uh, real time. You can see now. I can go adjust, you know, the view. Okay, you can notice here they have all the two D three in Archicad turn to three D three automatically. Right. Yes. So what I'm gonna do is I just use a quick one before we ending our session. Uh, let's say how about if I just do some tweak here. Let's say I just maybe I want to duplicate this tree, right? Just duplicate this tree, and I want to put somewhere around here, and I want to move my slab here, move to maybe. To want to create some cantilever slab here to maybe two meter, okay, two meter. Okay, I have some two meter cantilever here, right? Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I just click again this. Uh, I think you can highlight also, Zai. They have a. Some question from for the M Y M M one chipset, or maybe Marcelo you can talk about that. Okay, yeah, okay, I report. Report. yeah, it's already asked. So everybody can know about that. Yeah, so I report already. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I think uh, Apple has given our HQ uh, an update of the OS <laughs> yeah. Yeah. for that. So I think they are I doing the testing. Okay. Hopefully, right. I think it will take maybe. Uh, not this. Uh, I can get twenty five Maybe I can get twenty six. I can get twenty six. Uh. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's a new technology. So I yeah. think it's happening to a lot of uh, software manufacturers that they are figuring out how to or adapting it to the new chipset. Uh, but I see what the speed will be fast, lah. I think yeah. the speed is fast. Uh, it depends. Of course, uh, every new things. You know, sometimes they have some. Thing that they need to tweak up to get the, of course, uh, currently I think I I I saw the the 
what I call a people using M1 chipset and install ARCHiCAD, it can be run. But of course, uh, sometimes they have some, you know, we worry about the, in terms of the problem happen now, they still figuring about, about that. Uh, I think AW, Gary, uh, okay. So, uh, I think also highlight about the cantilever, yeah. So, if we using, uh, you know, cantilever, then it's not the IBS lah, yeah, for sure. So, this is not, a, a, this is a parapet wall or, you know, the concrete wall. <laughs> That's how we can do the, the, what I call the design. So, you can see now in uh, 3 motion, it will reflect that automatically inside 3 motion. You see the, the cantilever part there, even the, uh, what I call the tree here, you can see here, yeah, the tree automatically come out with the new tree here. So, uh, what I do just I just tweak around with the architect, then you can get this thing. Yeah, it's very quick, right? And it's free for 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 the SSA user. Better to 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 take this opportunity, lah. Um, I think um we go back to the the slide. I think uh, before we ending the session. Uh, if you have a question, you can ask now. Uh, okay. So I think uh I go I will go to the. So uh, please uh, remember to, uh, from here you can, uh, for the SSA user, you can go to the Graphics Learn. You can scan this QR code to go to the Graphics Learn to find out more upcoming training or architect being certification and a uh, useful tips. And also, um, okay, before that, uh, we already ending our second session. Uh, later, we have another session three and four. Hopefully, you can uh, join the session to get more knowledge regarding of Archicad. You can just scan this QR code uh, to, to register. Uh, this is QR code for the session 3 and this uh, for the session 4. Hopefully, you guys just uh, can join, can scan and uh, register now. So, you need, you no need to, you know, uh, somehow mistake or, or uh, you know, uh, 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 Join the session. So this is the our QR code for the uh, social media. You can just uh, you know scan the QR code here to go to the YouTube channel, Facebook channel, and LinkedIn. Uh, for this to this session, also I will do the recorder and put to our social media mm -hmm. later. Session one also is already there in the YouTube channel. Uh, anything regarding of the uh, you know Akikat, you just can just contact me this through, through this phone. Or you can contact our uh, uh, distributor, the story reseller, Kisali Network, at this one. You can just shop. Uh, before we, I think that's uh, what I'm going to share for today. If you have any question, maybe before we left that, you can ask now. If not, then we can uh, end the session. Lah. Okay. Okay, okay. Before that, uh, I think the the session before, the session regarding the next week session with uh, in, uh, interactive. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we, yeah. We will we yeah. will have a uh, actual user. Yes. To, yeah. The guest. So yeah. Showcase. Join the session. Yeah. You do. Uh, maybe. Uh, so uh, maybe later you can we 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 uh you know um announce who who's gonna give uh you know a uh, session with us. Uh, if we talk about the interactive scheduling, and the next one is the teamwork feature for collaboration in Kikat. So uh, I think they have a question there in the chat. Okay. Can, can you check that? Uh, and, uh, from Afrin. So it seems quick for single project involving single building, but multiple building to achieve the speed of what is the de de determining factor hardware. Yes. Uh, hardware. The, the most important is hardware, of course. Yeah. On, on the other yeah. side is the more the RAM and the processor. It mm -hmm. fits on the twin motion side. Uh, the graphics card is a big factor because mm -hmm. twin motion is a real time render. So definitely yeah. you need a better uh, graphics card. So we mm -hmm. we have the feedback that you know sometimes a gaming machine is good for the rendering side. Uh, but obviously, um, you know, normally we have machines that are working machines. So just make sure you have a, 
graphics card with good memory. Mm. Yeah, because it yeah. involves animation. Yeah, uh, like, like I showed before, uh, the one, uh, so okay. like, like read scene render, they we use processor, mostly a processor and the RAM for doing the graphic uh, rendering, right? But for the thing, uh, thing motion, they we use uh, graphic card uh, memory as a rendering. So that's why uh, if you want to do the rendering using three motion, then it's better to have a good graphic card, yeah. like my seller say. Yeah. Uh, I I think they have a question also from Rashid, <laughs> Tuan Rashid from JKR. I think Marcelo, if yeah. we can manage to 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 go to do the energy evaluation session. Yeah. We, Marcelo. Yeah, yeah, we could take uh, your 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 feedback, and uh, if more people are interested, I think we could cover that topic. So Archicad has built in an energy evaluation tool that will, you know, uh, let you see the um, different, um, mm. how should I say, the impact that your design decisions have in the building, the energy consumption. So uh, if you have, let's say, a shading device in front of a window that receives a lot of uh, sunlight, then uh, if you make the 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 evaluation of of the how much energy your building is consuming, if you take mm -hmm. that element out, then you can see you know what is the impact that that has. So definitely, I think let let us discuss and we could probably mm -hmm. do that on on the on the upcoming sessions. And uh, just just to let you know, uh, uh, uh Rashid is from Jika the. the okay. Yeah. Uh, I think way, I met before yeah. in one of the events, probably two, three years ago in Malaysia. I, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Another one is uh, Gary from Gary. The question is, how can you manage materials when a model has a hot link? Uh, well, but you can still do that. So we just see which material uh, we're talking about uh, and uh, go on the settings. And, and change it. So it's the same. It's just that if you want to change uh, the material for one part, then you need to go to the hot link. If you want to change the material settings for everywhere that material is, you can do it on the host file. Okay. Uh, I think uh, the last one, uh, can we paint material yes. directly on surfaces? Yes. 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 Can you show the material painter? Yeah, uh, okay, sure. A little bit from here. Can you see the screen now? Yes. Okay, let's see now. I just go to here. Uh, maybe under. Um, yes. Face painter. You can see the face painter here. Okay, let's see now. I just choose this one. Yeah. Just click. You can see now directly from the 3D model. You can do that. You Zoom into it. Yeah. Uh, okay, see, huh? change to yeah. the base on the space. Let's say I change to another color. You can just go and click. Then you get that. Get. So no need to you know manually go to the setting and adjust. Yeah. Yeah. They have surface painter here. Yeah. Okay. I think we we are um we yeah, out overrun. of time now. Overrun already. Sorry for the uh overrun. Okay. So uh. I think we can ending the session. Thanks for joining the session. Please don't forget to join the next session, session three yeah. and four. Hopefully you can uh, register for that. So thanks, guys. Yeah, th thank, thank you, you, Ashraf. I think thank it was you, very man. informative. Yeah, thank thanks for participating, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Bye. Very yeah. good session. Thanks bye for bye. giving us your lunch bye. time. <laughs> bye, 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 guys. Bye, Take care. Bye, bye. All right. <laughs> Bye bye. Okay. Um. How to close the you know the recorder? Yeah, I think you can stop. Yeah, I can uh, stop. Okay, just stop recording. Okay.